Alan from SimonWoods.com. Apologies if there's a slight humming noise in the background. It's that you can't see the oven. Uh, it's behind you and uh, it's containing a duck that is roasting gently and hopefully uh, successfully. Uh, and uh, I've just opened a bottle of wine which may be, uh, hopefully it will be, just the thing, sort of thing I want to uh, uh, I want to, to drink with it. It's Maison Harbour, um, Jeffrey Chambertin La Justice. Uh, vintage 2015. Uh, well, I've got bottle number 508 of 1,128. Just four barrels of this was made. Um, these guys are Colleen and Nicholas Harbour. I think she's from Canada. He's from the States. Or they were born there. They met in Luxembourg, worked in, worked in finance and um, left the finance industry um, and uh, developed, uh, had a, a love for wine. And I think they've, uh, they've now got this negotiation business in Burgundy. So they've got, um, I think they've got a few Gevry vineyards. I think the only Grand Cru that they've got is they've got a bit of Courton, um, and they've got some reds as well, uh, some whites as well. I think they've got some Merceau and some Chassin. Uh, anyway, so let's give this a whirl. Now, 2015 was a really uh, good vintage for, for red burgundy, maybe a little bit too hot for, for the whites. Um, and uh, some of the wines are really quite big and bold. It's funny, um, some of them are going a little bit, um, they, they, they've been quite showy uh, throughout, the, throughout 2017. Uh, we're in we're in end of November no end of November middle of November 2017 here and um, some of them are starting to just get a little bit awkward but here I stick my nose in and it's got this lovely pure gentle juicy uh, a little bit of plum a little bit of violet blackberry and um, if, if I'll, I look at the colour and it's um, it's not a dark coloured wine it's as if they've tried to make a a really gentle supple wine it smells enticing one of those that uh, as with all good burgundy you want to just keep sniffing at it because you get a little bit more of it out of it every time there's a little bit of truffle a little bit of spice some of that classic undergrowth character and uh, uh, it smells like it's going to be rather nice it's lovely it's got this um no, sorry I, I, I furrowed my brow then that was in in pleasure rather than pain or anything like that um it's got this pure gentle juicy fruit um, and it's those berries, the red berries, maybe a little bit of red cherry in there. Uh, touches of spice, really nicely handled. Um, I don't think there's too much new oak influence here at all. Maybe if you've got four barrels, you can't really do too much. Maybe maybe one of the barrels is new, but it's not dominated by oak. Um, and oak seems to be just there as a little bit of, um, adding a little bit of support to uh, uh, an already quite nicely structured wine. So there's this fresh acidity that's... Uh, uh, there as, um, as like the upright spine, a little bit of fruit tannin and this bit of oak tannin and then wrapped round it all you've got this um, lovely supple uh, enticing alluring fruit. I always think uh, Pinot Noir needs to have the allure and here it's got it in spades. Uh, it's, um, I mean, it, it, it's two years old now, it's a, it's a pup, I, I shouldn't be pulling, pulling, pulling the cork for uh, several years yet, but uh, uh, golly, it's, it's looking rather nice tonight, and I think it's going to go uh, rather well with the, the duck. I've just got a little bit in my glass. I better better try that again, haven't I? And what's lovely about it is it's this classic what you want with good Pinot Noir, full flavoured, medium bodied. Some wines get it the other way around, and they try and impress you with the power, and then you try and get nuances and flavour, and they aren't there. Here, it's the opposite way around. It's, it feels not chillable light, but, but it's this gentle persistence that um, is uh, really lovely. So I think I'm going to enjoy that and hopefully uh, it'll be rather nice with the duck too. See you soon.